Hello and welcome once again to Gadget Joe. Now today we're going to look at how to change the colour back to metal on a GPU block. So say for example you've got a build that you've got your GPU block for, but your GPU block doesn't match the rest of your build and you're wanting to take it back to the bare metal to release that metallic silver look. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So starting off, we've got here a GPU block. Now this is designed for the RX 480. This is actually the block that's going to go on my 480 to go in the Alter Ego build. Now obviously you get the backplate too. So to start with what you've got to do is then take off this block here because we don't want to be touching that. If you start touching that you're messing around with the thermal compounds inside everything but you just don't want to get any chemicals in there basically. So Starting off, we need to take this off. So turning the block on its back, you then see multiple screws which hold the unit in. Do not make the mistake of unscrewing these ones here because that will take the contact plate off the unit itself and this won't actually come out. So what you need to do is take a, a screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, and start to work on these smaller screws. Be extra careful not to lose these screws because you'll need these. So what I'm going to do in a moment is put those in a little pot. So now that you've unscrewed these, you've obviously got the spaces here and the actual block should just come free. And that is it. This is the remaining block. Now obviously you see on here you've got some contact thermal compound. This just rubs off with an alcohol wipe. Keep this as it is. So now you see that is majority of that is taken off. So what you need to do next is obviously take two containers that will basically fit these GPU blocks in. Now these blocks that I've these boxes that I've actually got don't really fit properly. So what I'm going to do is I've got them mounted in in this fashion and I'm going to just sort of turn it around over time. The time it takes to do this can vary. Some people tend to get good results within about four hours but sometimes it can take a little bit longer depending on how you mix your solution. So for now I'm going to put them in there and show you the solution itself. All I'm using is Mr Muscle Kitchen Drain Unblocker. Now you can use most of them but the stronger the better. All this basically does is it comes in a powder form. Lots and lots of little crystal powders. You mix that with water inside these and then just leave it to do what it needs to do. And what it'll do is it'll start to strip away at this paint and just bring it back to the bare metal. You need to be very careful when using this, which is why I have my gloves here. You don't want to be burning your hands. Make sure it's out of contact of anything that can be affected by it. Another note is obviously before you put it in is just simply get a brush, brush it down, make sure there's no dust in there. And that's it, you're pretty much ready to go. So what you need to do now is get your gloves on. So what you need to do with a solution, it's a little bit different to how the directions are on here because this is obviously designed to go in and then expand inside your drain to then unblock it. What we're going to do is here, we're not looking to do that. So what we're going to do is basically put some water into these tubs. Just going to quickly test, see how this goes in there. So we could do with a little bit more in that one. This one should be fine as it is. So as you can see here, I've got both my blocks in these buckets of water. Now generally speaking, you won't really need to put this much water in. If you get a tub that's bigger, you'll be able to lay them flat and only be able to put, have to put a little bit of water in there. So what I've done is I've just filled it to the top Because on these ones I've actually got some lids that will just sit on there 
to cover it so I can keep them out of the way and let them do the job. This way I won't have to keep taking it out and moving it around, They're possibly changing the results of how it actually turns out. So now that we know that they fit, we need to take them back out, pour water everywhere apparently. Place them down. And this is where the magic happens. What you need to do is open your salt. And a teaspoon that fits. You simply get your spoon, hold it above it, one, two, three, one, two, <coughs> now that it's in there, please don't touch it. What you simply then do is put your And then you just sit and wait. You have to leave it to do its magic. Once it's then worked, you can come and take it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take little videos showing the progress every hour until I feel that it's done satisfactorily enough. And that is pretty much how you start it off. Next, we're gonna move on to getting it finished. You can already start to see just how potent this actually is because on my finger on the gloves you can see where it's starting to discolour it already. So be sure to wear gloves. It's only been 15 minutes but you can already start to see in this one more so than that one. But it's starting to change colour which is obviously the Mr Muscle drain cleaner starting to react with the water now and also the paint on the actual block. If you can sort of see in there, it's not going to be the best to sort of focus on this, but you can see that it's already starting to attack it. So like I say, it is incredibly potent stuff. Please, please be very careful when using this. Now it's been 20 minutes, and as you can see, the other box has also started to turn blue. Now obviously sometimes it takes a little bit longer than the others, to sort of start reacting, I don't know if you can actually see in this far corner, I don't know if the camera's going to be able to focus on that. But you can start to see it's already stripping that paint. So that's a 20 minute progress report, I'm going to now come back in an hour's time to give it a bit more time and you should hopefully start to see some more progress. Now after an hour's time I'm going to do it again in another hour and I'm going to do it every hour until that I'm happy with the finished result. Right, we're back after exactly one hour. Now actually this is quite surprising because I don't know if you can see it again because the camera is obviously focusing on the plastic but it's actually virtually stripped the majority of it already. You can see it quite well on this one here. The black paint, obviously the water is now black and that's obviously all the paint that's come and stripped off it, so it's just come in now in the wa in the water. You can see it working. You can see it working just here. It's just bubbling away at it. Now, when we open the top, this is where it gets interesting. This is one of the reasons why you have to be careful with it. So I'm going to take this off very carefully, and you can see all of this, which is basically the paint sitting on the top. Now you can actually see it bubbling away. I only put cold water in this. So as you can see, there's a decent amount of heat coming from that as it's reacting with it. 
and you can see the bubbles foaming on there and if you take a second you can actually hear it waking away so I'm starting to think that it won't need 4 hours at all I'm going to give it another hour to make sure everything's got inside all the crevices but I'm going to try and see what it's like in an hour because I think it may actually be done by then so I'll see you again in an hour Right, now I've left it for an extra hour and 40 minutes. I actually went away and did a few bits at the shops. So, it's now had a total of 3 hours. Probably actually didn't really need that much because they look very, very clean in here. Now I know obviously the, dirt, the water looks very, very dirty because obviously it's got a lot of the residue from the paint in there. But, I've had a quick glance and it looks quite good to me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out I'm going to put them on here and I'm going to rinse them out in the tap, in the sink, sorry, and see how they turn out. But for now, I'm not going to take out the fluid that's in here, the chemicals in here, because if there still needs any more to come off, then I can just put it straight back in. So, let's get straight to it. Starting off with the actual GPU block itself. Of course, remembering to put gloves on. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to actually take the camera off and I'm going to let you have a look yourself to see what it's like now. So as you saw earlier, it had all the black along the top which was left a bit of a residue on the top. And now what you can see, you can actually see the metal on the GPU block coming through really well. Now there's parts obviously that look like we've still got a bit left on them, but I'm just going to take it off, rinse it off and see if it needs any more. That is obviously the part that's had the alpha cool writing on there. As you can see, bear in mind that this was actually originally cold water, it is actually steaming. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. There's some immense amount of heat coming from this. You can actually accelerate the process by putting warm water already in it, but then you run the risk of damaging anything from there. So, Camera back in play. So again, like we said, starting off with the GPU block. And this is what you're hoping to get. As you can see, it's completely stripped all of the black paint off there. There's bits here that are still on there, but that should just rinse off when I rinse it off in a moment. That maybe does need a little bit longer just in there to finish it off a bit more. But as you can see, the end result is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to place that one there for now. And now I'm going to get the back plate out. Now this one I think should be done because it's a lot smaller a bit less to it, so I'd like to think this one's absolutely fine. And that's the back plate. What is quite cool, which in actually in person you can only just sort of see it, but on the camera you can see the Alpha Cool logo still on there. So what I might do is I might try and get some sort of uh, vinyls cut or something like that get that Alpha Cool logo back on there because I want people to know that this is an Alpha Cool GPU black backplate and cover. And that is basically the job in that. So now I'm going to move it over to the sink so that you can see me rinsing it off and see if that makes any difference with the marks that are on there. So it's a little bit noisy here because obviously the tap's on. But what I've done is I've turned my tap onto the shower function. I put it on cool water, so it's not actually hot, like all cold. I've mixed it a little bit, so it's not completely warm, not completely cold. So it's just in between. What you do now is just rinse that off, and using a brush, simply just try and get right in there. Because it's very important that it all comes off. Because if it doesn't come off, you'll find that it starts to react with the metal, and that has actually been proven by 
uh, Joe Ryzen Jones. Now I'm going to leave a picture right here of how it actually turns out. But he's managed to recover it, so it is always important to make sure that you rinse it off completely before using it. Now I'm going to rinse off the back plate. Again, using the same technique, just brushing through to make sure that it's all off. Make sure you get into all the screws, the holes for the screws, to make sure there's no drain cleaner left on there. So, now that I've had them rinsed off, as you can see, it actually works fantastic. So what I've done, in the bit that it had the paint on around here, what I did is I actually just scrubbed it off. Now you'll see that there is actually some residue still left in certain places. So you can see it especially on the back plate, such as this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it back in the solution for about another probably half an hour to just get rid of those last bits. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically polish it all down, get it all nice and smooth, make sure everything's finished. But as you can see, in general, the actual result is absolutely stunning. You've got that industrial look, that industrial feel. Compared to how it was before, it's like a completely different, brand new GPU block. And obviously you've still got the same functionality as normal. It hasn't affected anything to do with the performance of the actual block. And that is pretty much it. So, just by using Mr. Muscle Drain Cleaner, you can strip the paint on your GPU blocks to get this effect that you want. Now the good thing about this is actually not just the fact that it's going to strip paint and get it back to where it is now. This also prepares it as well if you wanted to paint it. Because you've stripped that paint off, you can now go ahead and try and change the colour. So you can, for example, put some primer down on there and then change it to any colour you want because you've got rid of that original surface. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Mine took three hours to do. Well, it's going to take about three and a half hours because I'm going to leave it in there a little bit longer to just finish off. And that's it. You've just done what, if you were going to do it by hand, could have taken you probably, well, you're looking a good few days with a GPU block. And it's done. All you had to do was leave it in a bucket of water with some drain cleaner. So, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because there's going to be lots more videos like this. And also, I'm going to do another video of how to mount this block to the RX 1280 very soon. And that's it. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.